Hey everyone, welcome to Mr. Holland's Classroom, where today we are now on to lesson two of chapter 11, where we're talking about two-dimensional shapes, flat shapes, as some would say. And so today we're going to be talking about circles and triangles. So let's start with this intro video, see what they have to say, and then we'll go from there. Circles and triangles. This shape person needs a head. Which shape should we use? This is a circle. All of the edges of a circle are round, like this big button. Mm -hmm. So a circle has zero sides <sighs> and zero corners. This is a triangle. A triangle has one, two, three sides and one, two, three corners. Which of these two figures looks like the shape of a head? The circle is round like a head. So let's draw a circle and make a head for the shape person. Now the shape person needs a hat. Which shape should we use? Let's try the circle. Let's try the triangle. Hey. The triangle is perfect. All right, so let's talk about circles and triangles, shall we? So, how can I compare shapes? We know how to do this. We've been doing this since lesson nine, or chapter nine, I should say. All right, so it says, look at the picture, draw a moon over the barn. Okay, so let's draw a moon. So it's kind of like the letter C, but then it comes back in. It has like a smaller C on the inside. Okay, over the barn. Draw a frog below the tree. Okay, so. It's two little frog eyes, this froggy head, and this frog little body, and two legs sticking down. Okay, so draw two flowers beside the tree. Okay, so I'm going to draw them on this side of the tree. I could have done one over here and one over there, but yeah, whatever. So the frog was looking at those flowers on the side of the tree while it was nighttime. Yeah, that's kind of a weird story, but hey, whatever. Do you think? All right, so it says describe characteristics of a circle and a triangle. So let's look at the triangle, okay? So this is our triangle, and we know that it has one, two, three sides, and it has one, two, three three angles now the sides are straight so that's good and um th when they meet their corners it's not like a square square like comes like right at each other that's called perpendicular these ones don't come at a perpendicular angle so it's so that's going to be interesting although i will say at the bottom down here this one comes perpendicular so that's interesting. It's almost like if you put like two of these together, like if you did something like this, <gasps> I just made a rectangle. What? That is cool. Okay. I'm getting away from myself. That was kind of cool. You have to admit that was pretty cool. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So it says name the shape. All right. I think we all know that this is a circle. Now don't say it's O. This isn't a letter. We're not talking about the letters. We're not, this isn't a zero. We're not talking about numbers. This is a shape and it's a circle. I mean, circle does look like an O and it does look like a zero, but we're not talking about that. Does it have any flat sides? No, it's perfectly round all the way. Now, some shapes aren't as perfectly round, but this goes around like the same. Some like, if you like flattened it, it would be like an oval, but it wouldn't go around the same. It would look more like a racetrack. So um, very interesting. So let's see, draw a shape that shows a real world example of each word. Okay, last time I was talking about food and guess what? Still hungry. So triangle, easy. Pizza, pizza has triangle slices. Look at that pepperoni. Ha, circles on the pepper. Look at, I got the circles on there. Got the pepperoni circles. Perfect. Ah, uh, but for circles, let's talk about donuts here. Donuts, circles, and with a little circle on the inside. Isn't that crazy? Look at that. 
And of course, they throw out a sign and a button to make me feel bad for picking food. But, you know, I was still right. Okay, so in this, what we're going to do is skip it. We're going to skip it because it wants you to draw circles and triangles and color them in. But I think you already get that point. So let's just go cut to the chase, shall we? I mean, if you want to draw circles and triangles, you can. Go ahead. But we're going to go over here because uh, this is more pointed. Get it? Pointed? <laughs> anyway. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was just kidding, kidding, kidding. Okay. So last time we did this with squares and rectangles, we found out that squares and rectangles both have four sides and four corners for vertices as we call them vertices remember vertex is like this but vertices is like a lot of them so circles don't have any size and therefore they don't have any points to them so it's zero and zero the triangles however have one two three sides and coincidentally have one two three angles i wonder if all shapes have that like they have five sides five angles seven sides seven angles i'm curious might have to look into that but hey right now three sides three vertices let's check out what's going on here ah okay so they're trying to do this again and they actually threw a square in there so they are trying to throw us off a little bit but we're focusing on the triangles now, the thing that to know here, well, actually, let's just do this. This is definitely not a triangle. It's a circle. So we're going to cross that off. This does not look real a lot like this, but it does have one, two, three sides and one, two, three angles. So it is a triangle. It's just a skinnier one, and it's up like a Christmas tree. Now, this is definitely not a triangle. That's a square. But this actually looks a lot like this triangle. It's just upside like a tree. But it looks about the same size. So one, two, three sides. You always got it. You got to check just to make sure. But even though these triangles looked different, one was skinnier, one was fatter, they're still triangles. They have three sides and three vertices. So that is important to know. It can look a little different. It could be bigger, smaller, but still the same because it has the same sides and angles. Now, we're in the circle territory here. So let's take a look. Okay, right off the Okay, I know. This is super easy, guys. Uh, we have our nickel right here. Coins are circles. And uh, this looks like a bowl of dog food. I'm not hungry enough to eat that. Uh, but let's see. Uh, this is a triangle, this is a rectangle, and this is a rectangle. So not going to worry about that. Okay. I have a feeling that you guys are not going to have such a hard time with this. Just don't get fooled when they try to throw other shapes in there or they try to throw in different triangles. Because I will tell you, uh, actually, let me draw it for you. So this triangle and this triangle and this triangle, even though they all look very different, they all have one, two, three sides, one, two, three, one, two, three. They all have three sides. They all have three vertices. So even though they look completely different, they are still triangles. They're all related. And actually, this is called a right triangle. This is called an obtuse because it's so obtuse. I'm just kidding. Um, because it's got this big wide angle right here. And this is a cute because it's a cute little triangle. And all the angles are little. Triangle. Triangle. Tri means three. Like trident has three prongs. Like, uh, yeah, I'm not, I would, I'd like a, you know, a tri wheel, whatever. Like tricycle. Yeah, tricycle, you know, with the three wheels. So tri means three, and angle is like where the inside of the points. Like when I draw this, this is an angle where the vertice is on the inside. Triangle, three angles. Remember that. Anyway, I'm done rambling. I can go on all day about shapes, but I'm not going to because you guys have some work to do. So please get that done. All right, I will see you all next time. Bye, everyone.